I don't know how to say this or how to have this talk. Can you start tongue punching me in the fart box? I'm willing to drink your pee. What's going on, guys? It's PD, the Parks of the Naked Dinosaur, coming to you pre recorded from the bowels of the trailer park. My son's birthday party is coming up this Saturday. He's having a Fortnite party, but me and my wife are finding uh, Fortnite stuff anywhere is impossible. Uh, for some reason, Fortnite doesn't have their license out to enough people um, or something because I would expect them to have, you know, balloons, banners, um, Halloween costumes, Fortnite related, and it's just not out there. So I was going to make my son um, the pickaxe that looked like the unicorn. And I got a bunch of cardboard and um, construction paper to do that. And my wife said, why don't you just make the, the plunger pickaxe? And I'm like, that's a fucking great idea. So um, we went to the dollar store, got a plunger, a uh, plastic sword, and super glue. Spent a dollar a piece on each one of them. And the end result, we created this badass pickaxe plunger replica it's not completely game accurate the um, game accurate one would have a red plunger top with a sword with a blue handle and a pine uh, wooden shaft so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this I'm not gonna make that exact one I'm gonna make a custom one just to do it real quick to show you guys um, how I made the first one um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this for three dollars it's really cool if you're a Fortnite fan um, or have a friend that's a Fortnite fan to make a good present just to sit up on the mantle because it is really fucking cool. So here we go. Let me show you how to make it. First, you're going to want to take the plunger part of the plunger without the stick on. Um, and you want to decide if you're going to go completely game accurate, you're going to spray paint this red. So this part would be red for screen accurate. So you're going to spray paint that. I'm just going to do one, um, a custom one. So I'm going to go right down the middle. I'm going to draw two pencil marks. Um, it's best to use pencil or white crayon. White crayon probably shows up a little bit better, but I couldn't find one. Um, and then you're going to cut. This is very important because the first time I did this, I cut twice and the hole was too deep. So you're going to make one cut right down the middle. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Go right down the middle. This one's a little tougher than the last one. I'm going to lose a finger on this video, dude. I can tell already. One solid cut. All the way down to about half an inch from the round part. So it looks like that. And then on the other side, do the same thing. You can have two holes on the side like that. And you're going to take... Um, your plastic sword, again, if you want to go completely game accurate, you're going to get, um, I believe it's a blue handle with a ninja sword. This is a machete that I'm using for this one. Um, and you can also use a real one if you really wanted to, um, if you're not going to use it for play. Um, we're going to put it down the middle like that, and it should stay relatively well by itself. So it should look like that, straight down the middle. And then you're going to want to take some Gorilla Super Glue. Um, so this was a dollar at the dollar store too. Everything was at the dollar store. So this is $3 replica. And you're going to paint the cracks in with the super glue. This has a wide gap. I cut a little too deep. So I'm just going to get it all glued up and then push it together. Lube it up, push it together. That's what mom always said. Shout out to Mama Dukes. Push that in. Then you're going to take the handle. Flip this bad boy around. Put the handle in the top. Screw it in. There it is. This is a custom machete one. Um, looks pretty cool. Make sure you get that first cut in really good because otherwise it... Here's the, what the first one looks like. This one is cool, but this one is much, much cooler. Um, and again, this shit was all from the dollar store. This is a $3 replica. Um, the normal, on the video game, it's a little bit cut off right here. The sword is underneath the plunger. Um, but get a medium-sized plunger, because this is a bigger one. And cutting it in half was really fucking hard. So I highly recommend getting a medium-sized plunger head with a wooden spout. Um, 
if you want to make it completely game accurate, it would be a real sword with a red plunger head and a um, coated wooden rod. I think they have like a walnut feel to it. But yeah, that's it, man. Three bucks. Until next time, guys, don't poop in the lake. P and D stream. I'm out.